An international team of astronomers utilized a database that included observations from the world's top telescopes, including the Subaru Telescope, to detect the signal from dying galaxies' active supermassive black holes in the early universe. The emergence of these active supermassive black holes coincides with the changes in the host galaxy, implying that a black hole may have far-reaching consequences on the development of its home galaxy. Astronomers examine faraway galaxies to put this notion to test. The light from an object 10 billion light years away must have traveled for 10 billion years to reach Earth. As a result, the light we see now represents what the galaxy looked like when the light left it 10 billion years ago. Looking at faraway galaxies is therefore analogous to looking back in time. However, the intervening distance makes distant galaxies appear fainter, making research difficult. To overcome these challenges, a multinational team led by Kei Ito of Japan's Sokendai used the Cosmic Evolution Survey, COSMOS, to collect data from galaxies 9.5 to 12.5 billion light years distant. COSMOS brings together data from world class telescopes such as the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, and the Subaru Telescope. COSMOS contains data from radio waves, infrared light, visible light, and X rays. The scientists initially utilized optical and infrared data to separate galaxies into two groups, those that are still forming stars and those that have ceased. The signal-to-noise ratio of X-ray and radio wave data was insufficient to distinguish individual galaxies. As a result, the scientists blended data from different galaxies to create pictures with a greater signal-to-noise ratio of average galaxies. The scientists confirmed X-ray and radio emissions for galaxies without star formation in the average pictures. This is the first time such radiation from faraway galaxies more than 10 billion light years away have been discovered. Furthermore, the findings suggest that the X-ray and radio emissions are too powerful to be explained by the galaxy's stars alone, indicating the presence of an active supermassive black hole. This black hole activity signal is weaker in galaxies that are undergoing star formation. These observations, which were published in the Astrophysical Journal, reveal that a sudden stop in star formation in the early universe coincides with increasing supermassive black hole activity. More investigation is required to discover specifics of the link. For more information about these observations, check the video description. Thanks for watching.